I don't know that I'm an authority on giving advice to other people that are battling cancer. And I guess if I was going to say anything, I'd say trust that whatever reaction you're having is okay to have. And then once you have that reaction, whether it's positive or negative, pick yourself back up. And if you can, find a way to continue doing what you're doing. If my story speaks to you in some way, let that be whatever message you need it to be. I was born in Quito, Ecuador. My whole family moved to the United States in 1995. What I remember is going into my first ballet class and immediately running out crying because I was the only boy there. When I was 16, I auditioned for the School of American Ballet and they offered me a year-round position. Uh, without telling my parents, I, I filled out the forms accepting it. <laughs> and I basically just informed them that I was moving away. I moved to New York and then Boston Ballet full-time. At the same time, I was studying at Harvard and then left the United States to dance abroad. I got there really early for my first day at the new company and I was stretching and doing my routine, which is when I met Tracy. He was the new guy, very serious, doing like 100 sit-ups. I didn't know if he spoke Spanish or English, so I went up and introduced myself in Spanish, and um, he was just like, hola, and then kept doing his sit-ups, and I was like, oh wow, okay, he's serious. We ended up going for coffee in the little village that we lived in, La Granja, in Spain. That's when I asked her if she wanted to actually be my girlfriend formally, so uh, we celebrate many different anniversaries, and that's one of them. We don't dance together that often because of our heights, but we did get to dance together a couple of seasons ago. And it's cute, like we got to kiss on stage at the end. It was really sweet. We were just able to complement each other very well. Now we're married. We just celebrated our fifth wedding anniversary. Colorado Ballet, we like to say, kind of found us. I think everybody in the company is very supportive of each other more than co-workers. We are friends on and off stage. And I think that we were really lucky to find it and be able to realize what Colorado Ballet was. I found out I had testicular cancer after the first three months that we were actually here in Colorado. It was a little bit of a whirlwind, honestly. It happened so fast that we didn't have too much time to really feel. I found out, they said, yes, this is cancer. I didn't even really have time to react or process it. We found out one day and the next morning I was having surgery. It took me a while to recover because they do an incision here through my lower abs, the small ones that you really need for ballet. Then we're open to the shoulders, to the collarbones, yeah, and then lift the low belly. It moved so fast and we had such a great team of doctors that it wasn't as overwhelming as the second time. I ended up going in and they ran some routine blood tests and they found that my white blood cell count was elevated. And they thought that it might be leukemia, so we ended up doing a bone marrow biopsy, which is not a fun experience. Basically, they drill into your hip bone. We got the test results back and yes, it was leukemia. It was shocking because I didn't expect to have been diagnosed twice. My immediate thought was, okay, like, who gets two different types of cancer before they're 30 that are supposed to be unrelated, and how many more times is he going to have to go through this? He's on a targeted chemotherapy drug that he takes every night that is lifelong. Needless to say, the chemotherapy still had side effects. Uh, migraines, fatigued, three times when my muscles felt like they weren't flexible. If he picks a bug up or a cold, it, it's pretty catastrophic for him. It really wipes him out, which is what happened before the Wizard of Oz premiere. Hello and welcome to Colorado Ballet's The Wizard of Oz. I'm your host, Crystal Thompson. I ended up feeling very sick for the dress rehearsal. My muscles just couldn't fire. It was like the most tired I've ever felt. 
It got to the point where we had to go to the emergency room. We spent the night there getting him hydrated and on fluids and running some tests and he wanted to come in and <laughs> try class and work the next day and that's when Gil promoted him that morning after class. And then it was opening night and he went on stage. <laughs> yep, <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> It was sort of enlightening, actually, because it wasn't lost on me that I'd, I'd, I'd just gone through so much in the past year and a half, and I was still able to achieve something that I actually never thought I would achieve. So I was very grateful for that moment. You can be Clara. You can be Clara. I'm going to take your picture. Ready? Sit like this. Put your hands like that. Very good. He's really caring. He's loving. He has a really, really good heart. <laughs> and he's very organized and clean, which is great for a husband, too. <laughs> He's really difficult to buy gifts for. He'll tell you he's really easy, but he's really not because he has all of the gadgets. You, you don't care how they look? No, I don't care how they look. He works really hard. He's always in the studio practicing. What I love about ballet is that you're always trying to attain some sort of perfection, but you never really can. It's just that challenge of that coming in every day and trying to be a better version of you. Having this job, for him especially, has been life-saving. My personal experience with my illness, everybody's really concerned about that. There's always that sense of support. The dance community seemed to want to do something for Fran, and they came up with the idea of putting on a benefit performance. We decided to try it again this past year, and we chose Children's Hospital of Colorado, and we dropped off the check last Tuesday to them, and it was for $11,000. I think when you're faced with any type of illness or really bad injury, it definitely puts things into perspective. Being a dancer and having been through many hardships as a dancer, it's very freeing in, in some way. 